Welcome back to the garage. Today I've got something really cool lined up for you guys. We're gonna be designing and fabricating an aluminum fuel cell for the 68C10. And also, I know a lot of you guys really enjoyed the bare steel look of the C10. And I do agree with you guys, it looks awesome. But it's gonna be coming to an end very soon. I'm gonna be applying an epoxy primer uh, to start doing bodywork on top of that. So for those of you who like this look, Take a good look at it now, cause it won't be like this for very much longer. But guys, trust me, I have a plan for the color of the truck. It's gonna be 10 times better than the bare steel finish. And I can't wait to show you guys what I have in mind for that. The truck is completely disassembled. There's parts and pieces everywhere. Uh, the cab sitting on its side over here. But since the truck is disassembled, I'm gonna be doing some work on the rear of the chassis here. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna be making an aluminum fuel cell that's gonna sit in between the two frame rails and under this plate. It's gonna save me a little bit of money and I'm gonna make it fit a lot nicer than a generic fuel cell that you'd buy off the shelf. I think it's gonna be a fun process and for the people that's never made an aluminum fuel cell before, maybe you'll learn something and you might be able to build one for your project as well. First things first, let's take the plate off the rear of the frame. It'll give me a lot more room to work with and then we'll start measuring and designing something for the sides of the tank. I'll explain a little bit more in just a few seconds. So the first step is making a pattern for the fuel cell. What I'm looking for in terms of design is something that fits cleanly between the frame rails and something that's gonna clear uh, all the moving parts, such as the rear end. We'll go more into the details as the video progresses, but right now, let's make a pattern. All right, so this is the design we have so far. The angle over here just matches the angle that's on the rear cross member here. So it'll look like it belongs there. And then I cut off this piece in the front. That's gonna allow uh, some clearance for the rear end. So once the suspension travel goes up and down, uh, there's gonna be plenty of room there, so that should be fine. So it's coming along pretty good. Figured I'd show you the progress so far, but let's keep going. So with my pattern, I made a few calculations to figure out how much aluminum I'm gonna need. And with that, I purchased some 16 gauge aluminum sheets, and this cost me a little under 100 bucks. So it's not too expensive. Um, that includes the labor for cutting the, the sheets as well. So you guys might be able to find some cheaper aluminum, but that's what I was able to get and I'm gonna be making the bends myself. This is what I'm gonna use to bend all the aluminum. It's far from fancy, but it'll get the job done. Just a homemade bender with two uh, manual jacks. So I'm gonna grab my pattern, we'll put some markings on the aluminum sheet, and then we'll start putting some bends in there.
I got my buddy Joel to weld the sides onto the tank. I don't have a TIG welder, so he's my go-to guy for TIG welding. He always does an amazing job and in a timely manner. So a big thanks to Joel. He'll be doing a lot more TIG welding for me down the road. I'm also gonna be making baffles uh, just to stop the fuel from sloshing everywhere. We'll figure that out as well. And I also think I'm gonna be running a hydromat on the bottom of the fuel cell, just so I don't suck in air uh, if the fuel's all on one side or if I start getting low on fuel a bit. So it's gonna fit nice and neatly in the back, just like that. And that's gonna be perfect, I think. And it's gonna hold quite a bit of fuel. It's a pretty big tank, especially for a project like this. Uh, normally you just see small little tanks because they just go on drag strips and such. But uh, this is gonna get street driven and I'm gonna be road tripping quite a bit. So I need quite a bit of fuel to get me from point A to point B. And uh, depending on how heavy my foot is, it uh, probably will be using up a lot of fuel. So the big size is gonna be an advantage for sure. So I just have the top piece of aluminum laying on the tank. It's not welded on or anything. I still have to put the baffles in the tank. But I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put the supply in return for my fuel lines and the filler cap for the gas as well. So I'm just going to put the steel plate back on top of the tank to figure out where I have the openings. So that's what I have to play with. Right now that's pretty much all I can do. I'm waiting for my fuel lines, uh, pretty much all my parts for the fuel system. So I want to wait till I get those before I start welding the top on the tank. And uh, I also have to install the hydromat as well. I will be doing an un unboxing video of all that stuff. I just wanna give you guys a little bit of an update on what I've been doing off camera. So I fixed the bottom of the passenger side door. I made an Instagram video showing how I fixed the bottom of the door. It's a pretty incredible transformation. And if you wanna check out my Instagram, I'll leave a link in the description. I'm always posting some extra stuff, uh, pictures and short videos. That was completely rusty and rotten. There was not much left of that. So I put some new metal and I also lined up the door gaps front and back and I tacked on these uh, piece of flat bars just to straighten everything out. And I also did a lot of work to the front fender. The fender is still a work in progress, but it's shaping up. This whole bottom section was completely rotten as well. So that's all new metal and it's gonna be folded over. It's gonna look like a factory uh, fender. So that's gonna be really cool. And the wheel arch is moved up. So, so far so good. I'm happy with the way it's turning out. I also have a huge announcement to reveal in the next video. You guys aren't gonna believe it. I couldn't believe it and I'm really excited. It's gonna speed up the process of making the truck drivable and it's also gonna make the quality a lot better. So it's a win-win all around and I'm super excited to bring you guys along for the journey. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.